Good morning, Sing Snappers. This is Psychic Psychedelia's older sister, Helen, appearing for the Super Silly Sing Snap contest. Final round. I would like to first apologize for her appearance on Sing Snap. She's a little bit weird. Uh, her real name is Jean, but we all have to call her Esmeralda for reasons I shall not discuss. However, she's been getting some confusing um, requests for readings even though she told everyone that she doesn't do it and normally I don't do it either but I figured I would get on here this morning and try to help show you all how you can easily do a reading at, at home it's very simple okay first of all you have a bowl of breakfast cereal like so and eat until you're full, but do make sure you've left a little bit in the bowl. It's also very important that it be a circular cereal. This is li like Fruit Loops. This, I believe, is called Apple Jacks, but it, it will work sufficiently. And then you simply must add a tuft of black cat fur. It must be from a psychotic black cat, which works well for me because she lives in my house. And also, then the next thing you do is you add a freshly unwrapped Hershey's Kiss. Do not eat it, it's tempting, but don't do it. And it goes right in the bowl right here, left of center. All right. And then you must give the bowl exactly 13 stirs with a blue comb. The blue is very important. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. It should be ready for reading. And then all you have to do from here simply is to tap into your latent mental powers, which we all have. If you don't believe me, I can feel it from here. I can feel that vibe. Well, I'm sorry I appear so tired this morning. If the spirit of Jimmy Page would stop trying to contact me in my sleep and tell me that I am actually the woman in Stairway to Heaven, I might be a little bit more rested and this might turn out a little bit better. In the meantime, I simply just have to keep telling him he's a dirty old man and he needs to stop standing at the bottom of that stairway looking up at my dress. <clears throat> Shall we get back to the reading? All right, so this is how it works. Oh dear. And actually, people don't ask me for readings very often. I don't do them very much because I'm a little negative. They don't like the way it turns out. Someone in Los Angeles is going to get a very bad haircut in the very near future. Someone who's a little insecure with their manhood or girlhood, as the case may be. Hmm. Although they will insist that they played in the Marine Corps and that they're just very, very, very sure of their manhood. But when you walk out of this haircut. The mohawk session down the middle will be purple. You will have a white streak on one side and the other side will look like Mr. T. You will have a couple of safety pins in your cheeks because this barber is gay and he's into the whole piercing thing, which I'm not, but well, good luck with that. Luckily, your next job will be in San Francisco and you won't even stand out because people will think you're just an insurance salesman. So that's fine, but it's very important very, very important that you go back home for your next haircut, or you will find yourself in the south with your hair so long that you start looking like a man in drag, and in the south you cannot be a man in drag, that's the Bible Belt, it's very bad, you just can't do that. You'll get approached by the sheriff, and he will say you've got too much hair on your head, you need to get yourself a haircut or a dog tag. And when you step into that barber shop, you will realize immediately that you're dealing with the barn again bob. Now, a born-again barber might be fine, depending on how churchy you are. That's just, you know, neither here nor there. However, there's not too many barber shops with a steeple with an organ in the corner and a choir. And I shall lead you to the barber chair. 
and the Bible we can say in grace, or oh for these haircuts we are about to receive, may we be truly thankful, Dominus Possum Poss Poss Post Mortem Okay, I can't speak Latin, but it will be in Latin. He's called of going to be a half Baptist, half Catholic, kind of a Baptist sort of a preacher. He'll start cutting your hair and preaching at the same time. Be a rather wild man. Scissors and razors will fly all around your head. I'm not sure you're going to like this haircut either. He'll talk about liquor and wild women and sex and the evil stanching, which isn't evil, and the music business in general, which is evil. And um, he'll ask you what you do for a living, and you're not going to be really ashamed of what you do. You play your piano, sing your little songs, and you're going to look him right in the eye, and you must say this. I run this church for Logos. And if you do not say this, I cannot guarantee your outcome, because they will probably put you in a Southern Baptist Bible jail, which is worse than a Mexican jail. Don't ask me why, but I do know it's worse. You might look like Larry Moe or Curly if a stranger cuts your hair. Do you understand this? Yeah. Do you hear those weird little singers in the background? Do you hear them? I, I really need to know if anyone else can hear them, because... Sometimes I'm afraid it's just me. I worry. I mean.